Hey, Reg Kelly, table in the wilderness. <clears throat> I've been out here cutting logs. A uh, storm blowed a bunch of trees down, and we're trying to clean up around here and rebuild fence. And I got my old trusty <clears throat> John Deere tractor there pulling these logs out. And anyway, why? I was looking at these gloves while ago, and I thought about all the workers across America today that are still driving their trucks, the guys that are still milking their cows, the guys that are still delivering bread, the guys that are still delivering the groceries, <clears throat> and the men who went to work, and they're welding today, and they're making cars and trucks and tractors, and uh, the people that are making uh, the food processing plants, and all the people in America that uh, are working today, and they weren't out like a bunch of idiots last night, and uh, tyrants, and uh, anarchists trying to destroy this country. And I just want to say this, that I don't have one ounce of sympathy for your fake outrage. I have sympathy for the man that was killed up there, and I think it was criminal, as far as what I can see. But I'm also willing to wait till all the evidence is heard in the criminal court of law with all the facts and evidence presented on both sides. But I'm not willing to be coerced by some mob violence antifa bunch of punks. And I'll just tell you, punk Amphi, to something. You want to come down here in the country and try us, boys? You just come right on. You better, old boy said you better bring your hearst with you because you're probably not walking out. Now, you listen to me. I'll put some stock into your fake outrage when I see you concerned about all the blacks that are killing blacks every week, every week in Chicago, Philadelphia, and all the Los Angeles and New York and all the other cities. You don't care about blacks killing blacks. What's your intent on doing is destroying this country, and you're trying to use racism to do it. You're sorry and low down, and you're wicked and evil. And we're going to defeat you. Mark it in your day book. We're going to beat you. And uh, truth is going to triumph over false lies and deceit. And uh, all you CNN and MSNBC and NBC and, and half you guys on Fox and the rest of you, you, you're just a lying bunch of propaganda machines. You ain't no better than Joseph Goebbels was. But when I begin to see this people who are protesting, quote, <clears throat> who are really rioting and looting and stealing and murdering and destructive to other people's property, when I see you get concerned about babies in the wombs of mothers in this country being butchered by their own mothers and doctors, when I see you want to get rid of pornography, when I want to see you d deal with sodomy, when I see you want to deal with the butcher of babies across this country and the murder of blacks and other, any, anybody, all humans are equal in value. And when I see you get outraged about anybody's murder and anybody's injustice, then I'll put just a little bit of confidence in your fake outrage. You make me sick. And you make God sick because you're liars and you're murderers and you're anarchists and you're against everything right, good, godly, and holy. Let me just tell you something. As long as sin is in this world, until Jesus Christ comes back, there's going to be inequities. There's going to be injustices. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to walk into a voting poll. I'm going to go there, drive, and I'm going to vote. And I'm going to express my opinion, but I'm not going to burn your house down. And I'm not going to shoot you unless you threaten me. And you act threatening toward me or my family, game's up. And you know what? I'm a softie compared to a lot of guys I know. I know a lot of guys, you light their fire, you're going to wish you had never come near them. This is Reg Kelly. Why don't you get quit your stupid fake outrage, acting like you care about that black man when you don't. No, you're just real selective about who you're outraged about, aren't you? Real selective. Real selective. You're a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. And America knows it. And they see it.